This is the uh, carpet calculator part two. Let me um, come up here and and um, now code the room carpet. We just code the room dimension class. Now it's the room carpet. Okay. So um, this is where and I, I'm just going to open up another notepad. So we can also have both of them right here, so we can see. Again, put in your header files and all the stuff with it. Uh, let me save this thing. File save as. I want to put this inside the same place the Java bin where I'm on the command. Put a code on that uh, when I when I when I compile this thing. So this time it's going to be the room carpet dot java. Make sure it's all files, and then I want to save this thing. Inside of this thing, I'm going to again. This time. I'm reading the size of the two attributes, uh, the two fields are size and carpet, um, uh, carpet cost. And it requires a decimal format. Decimal format for rounding off decimal format with it is we need to actually use is the import header file, java.text.decimal format. And again, you would actually have your public class room carpet in this case. Again, your public stack void main does not go here. This is where you demo it, so please do not put that here. But looking at this, we have a first one is the two fields we have is a private size, right? What is the data type? We're using is room dimension. This is where irrigation takes place right here. So the size is the attributes, fields, and the other one is the private, if I can spell private, private, double carpet cost. Now, coming down here, I'm going to look at the room carpet again. This is my constructor. My constructor is named the same name as my class, right? So it starts out with public. The plus is the public, right? What's my constructor? Room carpet. I want to pass in the two formal argument in this thing. It says I want to use the room dimension dim double cost. So both of these are the fields that I, I'm just reading off the UML with this thing. I'm just going to do exactly the two constructors. I'm going to actually assign the size and carpet now with this thing. So I need to make what? Make the size reference copy of the object reference by the dim argument. So how do I do that? This a little bit here. So I'm going to take the right side again. Take the right side. I need to create a new. I'm going to write this one the right new room dimension passing in dim dot get length method all that's gonna equal what to this right here okay now the other one the other one is to actually we need to actually set the carpet cost okay carpet cost now Recall when you use a constructor, you use a constructor anytime what to set a value to your field, right? In this case, is here's your carpet cost right here. This is the field right here, right? Again, I'm going to write this thing from assigning assign the cost. So when you assign the cost in this thing, when you look at it, <clears throat> what's the cost? The cost is going to equal to this. So this cost is this cost. Okay, you see that? 
this room dimensional length right here is going to cause me to pull from this dim right here, which becomes an object, and I'm using the dot syntax. The dot syntax allows me to access the room dimension class that pulls the get meth the get length method and assigns it to the size. Okay, so that's how that constructor works with it as well. Everything else should be pretty straightforward in this thing. If you look at if you look at this thing, the other one is the get total cost, which is a straightforward method. So that becomes what public. That's a data type. Double get total cost. And that method, since it, it is a getter, we're going to come in and actually just do a return carpet cost. What's that? It's this field right here, right? Take the carpet cost of this field, and we're going to multiply that with what? Now you got you got a method that you have you can access a particular area. Okay, so you can access what the get area of the size right here. And the size is pulling from where? From this get dimension, from the get dimension class assigned to the size. So you take the size right here, that becomes an object of the of the carpet dimension that allows you to access its method. So it's size dot get area. And I'm going to put both of these this time on side by side so you can see what I'm talking about. So you got both of them. You can see how this works together with this. So remember, now, this is my room dimension, is the left side, and this is my room carpet, is the one that has the aggregation of that field inside it. Now, come down here, let's look at again the implied to string again. This is the last method in that I believe it with a two string. Um, watch the time. So when you look at the two string again, I'm going to come into this two string. Now remember now, this ha you have to create the a dollar, the decimal format, decimal format object. Okay, I'm sorry, I got I hate typing on the bottom of the screen here. Let me just scroll up a little bit so we can all see this in the center. So how do I do this thing? Because you got the library file on the top. So. In your reading, if you recall, you know you, you take the decimal format dollar. You're gonna create. It's very similar to that scanner, okay? Keyboard. So you do the same thing in this format. And it's gonna have a format with a pound, 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 zero point. Zero, zero with the dollar sign basically with it down to the hundredth position. That's one. So when you create this string, now you create a string uh, with the object state, which is when you call the room carpet, when you instantiate that object, that whatever that may be, with the room state, it's going to go directly to the string with it. So here, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to declare, I'm going to do string is going to equal to the room dimension with, um, let's see, asking, move down to the next line, 
concatenate it with the size, which is your feel, plus uh, another st string. Let's say let's do n. So it just takes it down to the next line. We can get the carpet cost. the dollar sign and we close off that okay and then now this is where you come in you're gonna pass in the dollar object which is what which is this object that you instantiated you're using the dot syntax allowing you to do the format inside that you called another method that's passed inside another method so this becomes the you call the get total which remember now what that get total is total cost So it looks like this. Okay. Now, once you've got this thing, all right, what do you need to do? You need to return this thing. You need to return what? The string, right? End of the day, we got to return the string, which is what? This thing right here. Okay. Here's the key thing. You call the get total. What get total am I talking about? Get total is this get total right here. Okay. So this method to string. It's going to call the get total method, which is this method that's passed inside this object from this method. How do you get to use this object from the dollar? Well, you create that object right here when you instantiate it by using the decimal format. Well, how do you get to use a decimal format? You include it in your header file right here. So that's how it all connects. The pieces all are all connected together with the same. Now, let me do Control S. Let me save this thing. We haven't done anything yet. All we did was just we coded this thing. I just want to point out something really quick with you. There's going to be two files, okay? And when you compile this thing, you need to have your class files, all right? So the third file that you're going to have, by the time you're done with this thing, you're going to have a total of six files, three Java files and three class files, right? Now, I'm going to call this next file a demo file. I'm going to, or I'm sorry, uh, let's call it the carpet calculator, okay, uh, with this thing. So... If you read into this right here, um, that last page, um, how they want you to create the carpet calculator right here. So this is what your program needs to have right here. So next you should create the carpet calculator that actually calculates the number of prompts a user for a certain field. And there are certain uh, constants that you got to have, uh, with, such as the price, carpet price with the same. All right. So let's do that next. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull up another notepad. I'm going to just do file save as inside this thing. Now this time I'm going to call this thing the carpet calculator dot java all files carpet calculator. Let me check the time. <laughs> 